Konbanwa, Mina-san. It's Friday. Yep. <laughs> on Facebook for Geek.com. I'm Jordan Miner. I'm here with Will Greenwald. Um, there are people in this office that actually do speak Japanese, but that's not us, so yeah. we're not going to do it anymore. I'm trying. I just don't still. Uh, and where are you trying? What are we, what's, what's going on with you? I'm trying from an app, but I'll okay. be going to Japan next week on vacation, so looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. And one of the places I'll be going to, my hotel is actually in Shinjuku, which is one of the uh, you know, districts in Tokyo. And in Shinjuku is Kabukicho, which is the red light district. Uh, I'm not staying there. I'm staying close to the Metropolitan Building. But the point is that Kabukicho sounds a lot like Kamurocho, which is the setting of Yakuza 6 and every other Yakuza game ever. Uh, and that's because Kamurocho is Kabukicho. It is this weird alternate Japan universe where the branding is almost the same, but the names of neighborhoods are slightly different, I guess because the... Kabuki Cho Tourism Bureau doesn't want a whole lot of weird Yakuza stuff happening. So yeah, so before we say goodbye to you for a week, we're, we're playing Yakuza 6 on the yep. PS4. Uh, you've, been ta you've, been, you've been talking about this one for a while, um, and finally we found the space to do it. This so. is kind of the... This whole series is sort of the most weirdly Japanese thing ever, and not simply because you're a Yakuza, or in Japan, or any of the most basic stuff of like, oh yes, this takes place in Japan, is made by a Japanese company, it must be super Japanese. No, the reason it's super Japanese is because this is what Kamurocho looks like. So if you have any questions, I know I will leave them in the comment on Facebook or Twitch, where we're also at, uh, so leave them there, we'll get to them. But uh, yeah, let's, let's dive into this. This is into straight. This, cr this crime. I've been to Tokyo before, this is straight up what everything looks like. Like this place, uh, Don Quixote, I'll get you a good shot from like the front right here. It's my favorite Terry Gilliam film. Yeah, and it's also a line of discount shops. Nice. I got I bought luggage there on my last trip. That's real. Nice. And uh, hey, look at this vending machine. This is all like Boss Coffee. Yeah, drink. I love Boss Coffee. Yeah, can you slam some Boss? I can totally slam some Boss. We do it. <laughs> Rainbow Mountain, <laughs> light sugar, or black. Wow, nice. Let's go with black. And I drink it as I walk, and the meter goes down, <laughs> and now I'll get more experience. Nice. I don't even know where to start, because so so this is a lot to unpack. Okay, so what, what do you recommend? What do you recommend? Um, well, how about we go into Club Sega? Yeah, which so is actually arcades are still a thing in Japan. I'm looking forward to going there. <laughs> and right. there's straight up Poyo Pop. Cool. Let's, let's hit up Poyo our, Poyo. Or, hit up our friend. Time to get, get spicy. spicy. <laughs> It's always time to get spicy. So here's the amazing thing about Club Segas in the Yakuza games. These are straight up the games. This is Poyo Poyo. There's so a two-player mode. So let's just launch a version of Poyo yes. in the middle of this game. That's great. That's great. That's just straight out of Poyo it, Poyo Tetris. Yes. It's the straight same, up is. It's the same hella. <laughs> wow. And I'm going to blow your mind even more after this, but first, why don't we see if I get wrecked by this AI? Also, there is at least local multiplayer. I there might be online multiplayer, but I'm not sure. That's so good. I just want to play this now. It's remember good, remember playing this out in the office like every day? Yeah. yeah. It got just wrecked. Yeah. Because if you try playing it online and you're not a Poyo Master, you will get wrecked. Remember when we had a Poyo Master come find us in the stream? Yeah. And then, like, all that? That was so, so much good. nostalgia. Yeah. It smells of nostalgia. Wow. It's also the fact that it's this that they chose been here, like Poyo Poyo. I think someone. You, I think I've heard it described as Weeb Tetris. De, yeah, I can't find anything wrong with that description. Okay. That is pretty much what it is, and that yeah, it's Weeb Tetris. Great. Right. Which is why Poyo Poyo Tetris is so great, and why I hope that, like Sega starts just localizing. Poyo games. I mean, they're localizing Yakuza games. Well, Kiwami 2's been announced. Well, this keep, is coming they out. They keep putting Poyo in all their games. They put it in Sonic Mania. They You're put, right. They put yeah. it in this. They put it in Tetris. Although, to be fair for Sonic Mania, it was Mean Bean Machine. Oh, okay. Sure. Which is so just that, was just the, that was just the original example of them sneaking Poyo into one of their other games. Yeah. I love how happy the, the Poyos look. They should have put Kirby's Avalanche in uh, Kirby Star Allies. Ah, oh, they should have. Yeah. Too bad that's not a Sega game. Yeah. Man, Poyo was weird before we were aware it was Poyo. Yeah. Like, the, there were so many, we, ca we can't tell the Americans the goofy name this game is, but they might like it anyway. Love that we spent more time playing Poyo than Yakuza, I yeah. believe. Question. Are there any puffy drug wizards in this game? Um, well, which one, Poyo or Yakuza? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say yes. I haven't found specific ones yet, but I have found some uh, 
amazingly weird stuff because the side quests in this game are completely insane. So what is this game about? It's a six Yakuza. Say, let me pretend I know okay. nothing about Yakuza. Let me pretend. What, what should I know? What, what, what? You play, what, Will? You play Kazuma Kiryu. Nani. He, <laughs> Kazuma Kiryu is this long-running Yakuza member who has been in and out of the Tojo clan for ages. He's known as the Dragon of Dojima. And he's in his like 40s, early 50s now. He just wants to be out. And so he left the Yakuza to basically raise his adoptive daughter. But there was like still, because he was ex Yakuza, it became this whole uh, you know, controversial stuff that was trouble for her. And she kind of went other places. And now you find her, but she could just got hit by a car and she might have a baby. So uh, you need to untangle that web, which involves going to Hiroshima, a uh, little like fishing, like shipbuilding town there, and just get all sorts of Yakuza funsies and this kind of dire, dark, very grounded and serious drama. So let's play Virtua Fighter Five Final Showdown. Nice. I was gonna say that sounds like five other games worth of plot. And yes. Backstory. So. Because the main story of these Yakuza games are always very sort of. They can get kind of big, but they're usually fairly grounded, and it's just, you know, hey, they're Yakuza, there's drama happening in the clans and the, you know, different sorts of forces trying to take over this little part of Shinjuku. But then the subquests and the extra stuff you can do is incredibly goofy. Question. Do they assume much prior knowledge of the series? Yes, but it's not necessary, because you can... Because Kiryu as a character doesn't really change a whole lot, like his mannerisms. He did. I wouldn't say he's a learner. So just, you can kind of pick up what's going on. I was gonna say, because although this is Yakuza 6, I feel like this is only maybe the second Yakuza that's really, like Yakuza 0 last year, yeah. last year, yep. like really caught on in America. And uh, Kiwami, the remake of Yakuza 1 came out after that. Yeah. Kiwami 2's confirmed, that's the remake of Yakuza 2. And 6 is like, it has been, Localized. Yeah, so much like Monster Hunter World, we were saying that like, yeah, this kind of esoteric Japanese franchise. Yep. It's like big in Japan and like has its fans over here, like finally found a way to break through. The like, Japanese games in general have been breaking through more often this generation. They have been. Which is encouraging. Uh, they well, mean, encouraging for me, I don't know about you. I think mean, it's just encouraging for the, the variety of video games that there are out there, you know? Yeah. Like I love Resident Evil 7 and... Um, I'm so used to Tekken, I don't remember how to play Virtua <laughs> Fighter. <laughs> but um, also, again, it's this just, is yeah, cool to see more other games out there, you know? And this is the full version of Virtual Fighter Five Final Showdown. It's great that they're just giving this just away. in the game. Yeah. And yes, there is also two player modes for that. And if that isn't enough, there's also Space Harrier, there's Super Hang On, there's Outrun. It's like I'm um, in Animal Crossing and they put all the NES yes. ROMs in there. <laughs> so Only good. it's more nuts. So they're gonna rip all these out once they do the Sega Virtual Console. So. so let's see how much I can just button mash and you know win as Sarah Bryant. Tekken 7 is a really good game. Tekken 7, again, another really good Japanese game that sort of broke through. Yeah. Uh, Nier, uh, even like... Nier Automata was definitely a big pickup. You know, like, you, like I, Zelda and Mario selling a lot makes sense. But like, even like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is super Japanese, sold like, yeah. sold like over a million copies. Yeah, so. and it wasn't a bad game. I quite liked it. It's very kind of, not cookie cutter, but it's very much like this is a Xenoblade Chronicles game. You pick up on the pattern that like you saw in the first two. I gave it another shot during the fights of GDC. And How'd that go? I'm done. So <laughs> I gave it, but... Yeah. Uh, I'm fighting E Honda. I'm not familiar with any of the cast of Virtual Fighter besides Sarah Bryant and Kage. Uh, there's Jackie and Akira. I remember Jackie. Um, Akira's the Ryu ripoff, right? Yes. Comment in the thread. Um, who else? Yeah, there's, there's Sarah. Um, I don't know, besides that. Like, I keep seeing Sarah and I keep thinking Nina and Anna Williams. So. I just love a Virtua as a. Yeah. As a, a, as a modifier to a title of the thing. You know what I would love to see? Virtual Cop. That would be great in here. Yeah, I mean, what's... Um, or Dynamite Cop. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's go... So we're getting back to actual the actual game we were here to play, right? We could. I mean, that's an option, certainly. Or we could do some karaoke. Okay, but that's part of... That's not... That's not going to launch another game, right? It's like a mini... So this is actually within the game? <laughs> or is it like some forgotten Sega karaoke game? No, this is all built for the uh, for Yakuza itself, which okay. makes it even more amazing. Nice. Because um, you haven't seen Yakuza karaoke, and it is kind of incredible for reasons you will see in a moment. 
First, this is actually the karaoke experience. You get like a yeah. tablet, there's a drink made. Like th this is the straight up they have the even, interface. It looks like in New York too. I mean, in New York they have mm. the dumb books still, but yeah. like the room looks like, I don't know. So uh, some of these have female leads, so I can't actually, I'm only doing backup, but how about what we do tonight? Can you like, are you like gonna see. plug in a microphone? <laughs> or is there a microphone? Oh no, it's a rhythm game. Oh, but okay. Just, just watch. So watch, what does it matter watch, if it's a female this, vocalist or not? Watch how this unfolds and you'll start to understand. Up! <laughs> and we've had some, uh... It's hard to do this while talking. We've had some karaoke fun. Uh, at like, uh, CES. There's a good karaoke happening there. Ah, uh, you did. I wasn't there. I know. <laughs> Must be why it was so fun. Oh, uh, we have a lot of fun when we go on trips. Yeah, there, <laughs> there is a a punchline here, and when it happens, you'll know. So all I can say is just keep watching as I sing tonight. Oh, that's great because Kiryu is just the most like uptight, stoic samurai of a yakuza ever. Like half of his lines just journey because he doesn't understand what's going on. I'm just caught in the moment here. You should be. But you'll get caught up for it a little bit more in just a moment. Remember that scene, remember that Simpsons episode where they go to see like Moon River and like Nelson's like crying? Yeah. I like it when they went to see Naked Lunch. I think there are two things, things wrong with wrong that movie. This title. <laughs> that remains my favorite joke about him from all of Simpsons. <laughs> He's dancing. He's getting into it. I have a 30 combo. The dancing is so weird. His face does not change. It's so good because there's no one here also. That like. too. <laughs> I just dropped five bucks and rented a room. Oh, it, okay, it doesn't happen in this song. I apologize so for that. You got me all up, up and yep. now look at that, me. I've only just touched this. Okay. So there's another song where that does get amazing, so. Although this score is pretty great. That's pretty good. I love the Yakuza avatar. Yes. Sorry for teasing all y'all. We will be doing a better song in a moment. I also did terrible on that. It is hard to do rhythm games or karaoke while talking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why I haven't done Floor Kids yet on the stream. You know, it's a really good game. Today is a diamond. Yeah. Actually, this looks like fun. Uh, Let's do it. So what happened? What, what, what were you expecting to happen? Uh, I will show you. It happens in this song. Okay. And it happens in a lot of the uh, karaoke songs in Yakuza Zero, which is excellent. I definitely recommend anyone play it. But <clears throat> this has a build up, and you see just how it comes on. These aren't too hard. Like it's not, it's not like uh, Bimani or anything like that. Right, the right. psychotic rhythm games, and there are some crazy ones. It's like other rhythm games in Night in the Woods or something. Yeah. Famous, famous Trump supporting game, Night in the Woods. I, I can't even. <laughs> that was a real taste. There are, yeah. It's, yeah, that's another real good game. I would say it is very different from Yakuza 6, but <laughs> we can all enjoy different you know, but kinds you know what, of games. You know what it shares with Yakuza, at least, yep. is that it's one of your Game of uh, the Year entries. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> wow. So this is rated AO for adults only, right? Like, no... <laughs> <laughs> We've got a studio <laughs> audience building. Um. <laughs> Is that like a ukulele he's got? Yes. Max could be doing this. Victoria, you speak Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why Yakuza is amazing. Wow. Because there is the drama in the Japanese underworld. And there's that. <laughs> 
the get on screen. <laughs> you have anything to say? The karaoke in Yakuza Zero is kind of amazing too because he dresses up like an 80s glam rocker in his mind. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's because I still don't think we've even really seen the actual game. Oh, or no. <laughs> You've spent time in Japan. Like this, this is so real for you. I, I, no, I lived there for seven years. This is real. This is like that karaoke room. That's what karaoke rooms actually look like with the actual like demoku and then, yeah. like, they call you. Like, Should we go to a cat room. cafe? So this is like um so so fuck Assassin's Creed Origins and it's like Egypt history mode. Yeah, they just do this. They should. Yeah, you know that'd be amazing. <laughs> and actually, comes to show in TV. So, so people compare these to GTA sometimes, and you know there there are significant mechanical differences, but I don't think that's unfair yeah. because I think GTA has a similar kind of like. Hold on, I got a troubler message. There's a drunk in a. Po yeah, don't worry about that. Because I because I have an app on my phone that lets me know if there's civil unrest. Because as an upstanding yakuza, I can just randomly help people. Because because it's not just the open world crime stuff, but also this like very. Um, and also just all the kind of the, the, the tone stuff, but also like this, um, like GTA is very uh, exacting in its recreation of like American cities. Like yes. you'll be like, oh, I remember this building in LA or whatever. Um, and this is even more slavish because yeah. it does it in like a much smaller specific totally. part. Yeah. Like th this type of building. It's not like Watch Dogs with its mountains on the edge of Chicago. That was a game. Let's see. Oh, th yeah. this is a Mahjong parlor, and I... This is the Battle Royale. Is it like a hundred Kiryu's dropped to an island? That, that'd be cool. Yakuza. Yakuza Battle Royale would be amazing. Yakuza Battle Royale. It's just all melee. <laughs> but this is a Mahjong parlor. What I'm trying to do is get to the Nyan Nyan Cafe, which is upstairs. I just need to find the stairs. Oh, hey, item. I found a safe key. Uh, also, these games have, like, lockers or safes where you can get, like, something cool, but you need to find the key that's just randomly scattered around. So so they've tried to bring out Yakuza in America before. I remember the first Yakuza they brought out, they spent a ton of money and on Michael it. They, Madsen Michael Madsen Michael Madsen. Yeah, a bunch of Hollywood talent in it. Um, but it, it didn't really take yes, off. Yes, this is actually a side quest. <gasps> I, I got one cat, but I need to find other cats for him. <laughs> and I can also buy, t buy cat food. Yeah, the name of that, that cat cafe translates to Yes. <laughs> Nyan. So, so, Will, why do you think that this has been the one to kind of break through? This and Zero have been the ones to sort of break through. Uh, if Michael think, Madsen couldn't do it, what do they do? I usually hate, uh, like, prequels because I'm invested in sort of the, the story and universe and what's going on and thing. Mm -hmm. But when I have no idea, like in Yakuza, and there's so many games that have so much story that I haven't played. It's like Metal Gear 2. Going to Zero, Taking it back to zero, like really, it really <laughs> one becomes two becomes ten. We we are beasts created by man. It's great because it just like okay, that's who Kiryu is. That's who Majima is. This is the Tojo clan. I'm getting the world without needing to be just dunked into games and games of storyline that I've completely got missed. it. So it's by it's like the comic book thing where they change the numbering. And it's like kind of yeah. back in yeah. Just All like, right. Here's how cool. it sort of began. Oh, another one. Oh well, drunk just was there. I'm gonna, beat up the I'm gonna bite up. No, these are just thugs. Thugs. They're thugs, yakuzas, drunk cards, menacing men. Yeah. Even in even in the red light district of Shinjuku, <laughs> it's a very safe city. That too. Does I think they say they call me Yak? Okay. Okay. Well, like, if you're, if you're next guy, you call me. Okay. Uh, Question. What's the glowing energy? Um, that is Kiryu's determination. Like, um, I'll get into ambition. another fight. Yes. Can we go ahead, can we see? Yes, we can, but first, actually, we'll get into a fight just to show what his glowing energy is. You know what, you know what else? This could be like, this could be like a next gen reboot of like River City Ransom or something. That'd be like, great. Like, Kunio Kun could totally show up. Okay. Now. Uh, let me just power up my heat. Because yes, it's called heat. Yeah. And Yeah. So now they, pick up this bicycle and kill people with like, it. Yeah, they don't bother to like dub these anymore. Yeah. Yeah, they know the audience, their audience. <laughs> because they know the audience 
finds dubs Should distasteful. Yeah, yeah. They want the subs. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Vending machine. Like, we looked at the blue one with the Boss Coffee, but even here, the kind of generic ones. Oh, no, these are real. Okay, they're real. The Ota is real. The Ota is real. Let's go to the next one. Oh, yeah, these are all Itoen, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, Itoen. Sengoku Coffee. Yes. Muscle Soda. I don't need to go visit Japan anymore. <laughs> okay, is there, is there really a region called Little Asia? Because the, there is in this, and I found that very tickling. Because it would be like, oh, here's like little North America. Uh, America Town. Uh, yeah, America Town. I don't, I don't actually, it's been like four or five years since I lived in Tokyo, so I don't actually know if this is like a new thing or not. But oh, geez, I've been to that place. What, this place? That, that, that area right there, yeah. Not really That's Little Asia in this game. Well, and this is where a quest mission starts, and it's kind of like a laborious one, so I'd rather go around and just show the stupid oh, stuff in the city. Even the alloys look very, like, yeah. real. And Kazama, like, Kiryu is like Guts in that he's this dude who can murder a thousand people, but everyone still wants to fight him because they're complete idiots in this world. Yeah. You have your, your um, was it, you cut off one of the fingers, or you used to? No, he's kept, he's kept yeah. all his fingers. Okay. He, he's yeah. kept his pride. Yeah, so like, it came from like old samurai times. You cut off the, the, the pinky first because it would... It's harder to hold a sword. It's, it's harder to hold a sword when mm. you do that. But you go by, like, numbers. Sonic and? Yes, famous, famous yak, Sonic. <laughs> Kiryu and Knuckles. Kiryu and Knuckles. I would play a Yakuza Mania, like a pixel art Yakuza game. Oh, this is a uh, hostess club. Oh, Shall okay. we? I've not done this mode before. Let's do before. it. Uh, they're, they're clapping for you to go to this hostess club, and also for Jono, I believe. Love Twinkies. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Uh, and these mm. like loading mm. screens do give mm. you. Yeah. You couldn't just let that sit there in silence. No, you I have to, the, the I to acknowledge it. <laughs> <laughs> Is my write up about the Nightwing figure up yet? Uh, oh, I don't. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. So should we talk to Saki, uh, Rinoa, Irina? These Taraku, all sound like Kingdom Hearts characters. Sora. That's because they are. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, come in. We're about yeah. to go to a hostess club. The car looks cute. Yeah. yeah. See it. High five Friday. Yeah. High five Friday. You want to watch? We're playing Yakuza 6. Mm -hmm. I just got a hostess. We're, we're in the hostess club. You're in front of the camera, though. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we don't have a studio. We make do. <laughs> just walking around. Oh, my God. So I have conversation cards. <laughs> so to warm up to her, uh... What yeah. kind of music do you listen to? Oh god, I hate everything about this. Sorry to see the office get wider, but... <laughs> <laughs> I hate everything about this. Yeah, this, this is, is like great. Killer is Dead. Remember that game? <laughs> Only, it's less skeevy than Killer is Dead because I don't have x-ray vision and need to look at her underwear. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I need to. Okay, I hate my life and everything about this. Holy What do you want most right now? Oh, she's in college. She's doing oh, this. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> Thank you. It got too real for some of us. Oh, boy. Uh, You're oh. cute as always. I like, how, I like the dapper <laughs> option. <laughs> and I'm doing well because of the hearts appearing over her. <laughs> A new challenger, Max Eddy. What? No, no, I'm keeping that one. We're playing Yakuza 6. Oh. <laughs> yes. What's your take on alcohol? <laughs> That's one of our takes, that carbonation's bad. Oh, God, no. <laughs> so, let me know when I should pull this trigger. I'm gonna say never? It seems like a bad uh, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Want to guess my age? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guessing Kiryu's age. Not the player. Oh, that's... Could be good. <laughs> Oh no, Kiryu Kazama is amazing, but how about we just ask this? I hate you. <laughs> it isn't that kind of club, it's okay. <laughs> Did it get me kicked out? I would assume so. Yeah. I would certainly hope so. And I only filled one bar on the love meter. Oh. Yakuza 6. No. Let's extend the session. <laughs> Oh, 
Your makeup looks nice. Oh, yeah, that's not a good thing to do. Mm. It gets real. Oh, she's joking. Maybe. I'm a target of several factions. <laughs> Stay strong, here, you son. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Wow. Okay. Cool. Extend it. <laughs> We're gonna fill up that bar. <laughs> I prefer high-end restaurants. Question. Hope is just someone saying to stop. <laughs> So these are a pretty common thing in Japan? Yeah. Well, in parts, I think it's, it is a thing. Its commonality is, I wouldn't personally know, but it is a thing. <laughs> One should have just been Sonic. <laughs> Sonic would have been a great answer. Oh, hey. I, my nice. result was good and I got some experience points. <laughs> oh, is this going to start a side quest? Uh, they, they, you just say the, the way that you kind of stumble across them. You just side stumble quests. across them. That's pretty cool, though. I like yeah. that. It's like very organic. I'll make you number one. Wow. <laughs> There's so much in this game. I want to aim for the top my own way, with other men. So you I'm just... No. Isolate the sound, make it a ringtone. And be yourself. I'll be back, Hikaru. Her rank's increased to bronze! I we're giving this to you because we're, we're going to be without you for so long. <laughs> we felt need to give you this great gift of no, sharing this with us. I think I'm giving this to you, Jordan. Question. What does the ranking do? What's the progression? I don't know. <laughs> there are so many mechanics and sub-quests and sub-mini-games and... Like, you want to go, like, bowling? Let's go bowling. Uh, I saw yakitori. That's a good, wholesome thing that I know and like some, some grilled chicken. I like yakitori, too. Uh, there's also a batting cage. Actually, they might not be bowling, is there? There is Mahjong, I just don't know how to play it. We could play darts. There's a dart game, there's batting. So, so like how, how, you said, so the, the maps are like smaller, but like very dense. Yes, like okay. you, you, most of the time is on here. So this is, is this the entire map? Uh, if Kamurocho, yes, but there okay. are other places. Got there's it. like okay. a village in Hiroshima. Okay. You'll probably go mm -hmm. at some point to uh, Osaka, the Sontenbori, mm -hmm. which is the uh, Dontenbori, like, um, Canal area. Actually, we could go to the Nyan Nyan Cafe because that is where the uh, that uh, safe is with the key I got. Okay, so we can find out what we get in it. We should see like an actual quest or whatever, like whatever like the like the main gameplay loop is. Uh, we, sure. Um, just for, most uh, of it is actually just fighting games. Is it in okay. different settings? Okay. Like that is the main gameplay loop. <laughs> Everything else, the the abundance, the Bethesda-like amount of side yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's a good comparison. Is just yeah. That's where the, the game is. But I guess maybe just to see some story stuff. Or like a, I don't know. I don't. I'm just trying to think of other things that need to be shown. But I don't know. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good kick. Yeah, because he's the dragon of Dojima. He knows how to you know beat the crap out of everyone. Isn't, isn't what these? Isn't these? Isn't that what these are called in Japan? Like a dragon. Like a dragon. Yeah. And I really, really hope that the. Uh, the Yakuza Fist of the North Storm game gets localized. If not, I might just buy it when I'm in Japan. Yeah, we have a story on that on Geek. Uh, about I think that. it's actually called like Fist of Like a Dragon or like Dragon of the North. Like Fist of Like a Dragon is the best. Fist title. of the Dragon, I think, is the name. Fist of Like a Dragon <laughs> is the best thing I've heard since Return of the Curse of Creatures goes. <laughs> because it, it's it's Fist of the North Star, but it's basically like the character models are. Hear you. Is that guy just a, wait, is that guy has a, a sword. sword? Yes. <laughs> okay. But it beat him anyway because I'm the dragon of Dojima. Amazing. I'm just gonna smash his head against the wall. Cause I'm the dragon of Dojima. And he dropped something. I'm gonna take it. 
Why and why is that? Uh, I earned it by fighting him. Oh, I was trying to get you to say that because you were the Dragon and Dojima. That too. Although, you know, you don't have to be the Dragon and Dojima, just take people's crap. In fact, I'm surprised there isn't a Mr. Shakedown in this game like there is in <laughs> Yakuza 0. Which is, Mr. Yeah. Shakedown is just a huge dude. He, he, he is a roaming raid boss in Camarocho that if he sees you, he tries to beat the crap out of you and steal your money. But if you beat him, you get a ton of money. Question. So he's like the emerald weapon. Yes. So I'm just... Uh, I feel like <laughs> you could do a ranking of just the best names in this game. So Mr. Shakedown, Miracle Johnson, their fake Michael Jackson, yep. Mr. Libido... Um, who's this who's, intru who's introduced as like like strangely uh, greasy man or like glistening like what so, something that implies lubrication? Got it. Some, got it. Yeah. What about fake Steven Spielberg? What's his name? I forget. But let's see if I yeah I got the key. So let's see what's in here. Okay, I got a key, but it's a combination safe. I got chainmail. <laughs> he put it on. Yes. So it change your model. I don't think it is a character change. Okay, it's like, so it's like a Kiryu's stacking. whole look is basically um, the gray, the the no tie red shirt, gray suit, and when he, uh, let's see. and when he goes into a boss fight, like a dramatic fight, he does this, and it takes his shirt and jacket off in one motion, leaving him like. Shirtless, so you can see the dragon. Can we get that again? That little one? That little one? Sweet. Just for safety. Yeah. Um, so what about these kind of RPG elements? Um, you have, you get experience of different types in this game, so like you can boost how much you can sprint. The uh, experience you gain, uh, heat actions are like your special moves, so this is like how much damage you get when you do those, spe those special like essence of tiger crash and essence of dynamic throw. Which are like if your if your heat is built up, if you are glowing with sexual energy, you can. Is it sexual energy? All is... energy is. Okay. Is the game saying it's sexual energy? No, it's just and it's just heat. Okay, because that that would require further interrogation. <laughs> that yeah. Uh, you can also just like other things that in like guard crush mastery to just beat up like to get through to get through uh, guards. I cannot be seen. And of course, you have just like regular stats, which are quite useful. So Question. Bump that up a bit. Did you say there's no driving whatsoever? It's all uh, walking? There might be some form of like mini game ish type thing, but there is no driving around. You can get a taxi to go to different parts of the map, but no, Kiryu does not really drive. There's, there, there are no hidden runs. There's no, uh, well, I mean, there, there's a one in the plot, but you don't drive. So, this game is fascinating for a myriad of reasons that we've already kind of I fell off a building, but I'm fine, because I'm the dragon of Dojima. But I think one of the most fascinating things about this whole series to me is that they're like, basically Shenmue. Like they're basically like... Yeah, the this is what Shenmue like, would have been. Yeah. Kind of. So people get all bent out of shape yeah. that Shenmue went away and spend too much money on a Shenmue Kickstarter. But, but this like, is Shenmue. Yeah, the Shenmue, it's been staring you in the face this whole time. Like the beauty, like, like there's there's none of like the supernatural stuff, which I think is in Shenmue, wasn't it? I don't, I, mean, I, don't I, I, I never played through Shenmue. I gotta admit, I played better games, but yeah. like this has all the good stuff in Shen. I got a sword. I'm gonna kill him with it. His sledgehammer oh. is nothing next to my sword. Nice. And uh, like I, I didn't just murder that man. It, it was a blunt sword, and I just beat him up. I was gonna say, yeah, I was wondering why your, your strokes weren't like yeah. chopping them all up. There's. Oh, who's that off camera? It looks like newest PC Mag hardware guy. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Come in. All are welcome. Yeah. Your name's Gabe. Right? We have no structure. Cool. Hello. <laughs> Do you mean the Yaksa thoughts? No, just kind of watching. I've never, I've never played one of these games. This is what. So many people have recommended. Yeah. Yakuza Zero is fantastic. I was saying that it's great, and this actually is a good look at what Shinjuku, specifically Kabuki Cho, looks like. Uh, yeah, there's someone harassing a girl in front of Millennium Tower. Did Yu Suzuki have something? Them. Did Yu Suzuki ever have anything to do with these, or has it just been Sega? I think it's just Sega. Okay. Let me see if I remember where Millennium Tower is. What about Millennial Tower? Oh wow! Just swallow all the Tide Pods. You know, I like that. There's a few places you could have gone with that joke. That was yeah. a good one. As generationally stupid things are, eating Tide Pods is not like remotely the stupidest thing any given generation has done. I gotta say. Yeah. Like, look yeah, at this. I mean, one generation stole an entire other generation's wealth. Yeah. So that's pretty dumb. Oh, so defeat the perverts. Yes. yes. In defense of chivalry, ma'am. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Just getting into it. All right. I was expecting more dialogue. Yeah, so this one can make me feel a little less bad that uh, Sleeping Dogs never kind of got, um, yeah. got, you know, It got the MMO, it. didn't it? <laughs> they, they have been for 10 years, haven't they? Cool. It's like, oh, it's up there with an Uncharted movie and like... Oh, this dude is a like, gun. Why make movies based on games that are just movies already? <laughs> or the Tomb Raider movie, in see it is now. Look at this beatdown. Uh, it's very mashy, but like... Decent timing, it's just kind of... It feels like you're brawling. Those perverts got beat down like they deserved. It was divine punishment. Can we see your, uh, your like mission list? There were some really good prompts yeah. there. So uh, that's the map, the mission list. So go to Little Asia. I need to meet with a guy named Akiyama to uh, further solve the mystery by investigating the Sayo Triad. Mm -hmm. There is a freaky situation. They switched bodies. Got it. Uh, what day? Uh, it's today, Friday. A freaky situation on today, Friday. It is, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, we're committed to results. Train at Rizap. Haruka's, Haruka is Kiryu's adopted daughter. And she's Was sort of a... an accident or something, you were saying? Yes, she okay. is in an accident at the beginning of the game, and a baby is found near her, and the, the mystery of, is this her child, and will she wake up, and who is trying to kill them? Uh, it's Yakuza. But she was an idol for a time, but sort of a fallen idol. But you find her one fan in Amarocho, and you need to find like some merchandise for them. Now, what about learning more about live chat? I actually don't know. Let's sure. okay. So, uh, oh, there's more uh, stuff here. So, this live chat seems interesting. Let's try that. Screw the plot. Let's find out about live chat. Okay, I just want to see. The, yeah, these last two are really good too. Uh, there's also oh no, it's Onomichio. Oh, no. become, a become a mascot. A mascot. Uh, the Time Leaping Girl is back. Oh, that's like an anime, right? Yes. There's a movie that's that, right? The, the translation in this game is very good because they're clearly huge weeby dorks or just incredibly fluent Japanese people. But, like, they know the references and phrasing to work. Like, oh, it's, Sins of the Father. Can you just play Far Cry 5 in this game? Is that what that's saying? You know, I'd say more playing, like, Metal Gear Solid 4, but infiltrate <laughs> okay. the cult headquarters either way. It's <laughs> playing the Looney Tunes game. <laughs> uh, question. Is there any online aspect of this game at all? I, I don't believe so. This is pretty much just a single-player game when you get down to it. Uh, I mean, I think, it's, I think it's very clearly a very social game, even yeah. if it's technically one person playing it. It really seems to draw a crowd in our office. It is a, it, I would say this is a very streamable game if you know what weird stuff to look for, because mm -hmm. if you're not familiar with or love Japan, you see amazing things. <laughs> Volcanic volcano. Yeah. Menacing, Menacing men. men. I told you they were an enemy type. That guy, that's a great outfit on that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna try to come back with it. Three weeks from now on a stream, I'm gonna be wearing that jacket. You're gonna be looking so much more articulous. <laughs> Compared to wearing this shirt. I'm gonna run over here and discover the wonders of live chat. The temptation of live chat, I believe it was called. We're gonna find out. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna learn more. So volcanic volcano pachinko and slot. I can smell the cigarettes from here. Camaro chimicals, chinimals, connectimals. But that's a poll. Live chat, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's great. That a it took some effort, <laughs> but b worked. Yes. So. Yeah, I think this is the live chat thing, maybe? Okay. Let's talk to dude. I think he's afraid to talk to girls even online, so I need to help. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> so I love when we're specking him in the horny tech tree, right? Yes. <clears throat> And because he's a 48-year-old Yakuza, he doesn't really understand computers, so it's like, what is this? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Click a girl's photo and start chatting. If it's anything like the phone dating in Yakuza 0, this will be amazing. Because Yakuza 0 was set in like the 80s, the 80s right? yes. And it was a great game. There's slot car racing in that one. <laughs> He's Why so is she talking to me? <laughs> He's so like pensive looking. That's that's his. Kiryu Kazama is the archetype of resting bitch face. Like that is yeah. his single facial expression. Yeah. <laughs> You're cute, or maybe sup. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's up to you too. This is extremely good. So that's what life chat's like. Now, is this going to be a mini game? It might. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> I gotta get a screenshot of that. You're some kind of chat wizard. So there are wizards in this game. <laughs> Hasn't there been, wasn't there one that was like set in like feudal Japan or something? I think so. Okay. I wonder if I had any kind of supernatural element like, to it also. Uh, maybe. Uh, my, my knowledge is not encyclopedic of this meta series. Mm. Well, then we're really out of luck then. Yeah. <laughs> you, you by far know the most about it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at his face. He's just like, what? <laughs> this is a true live chat now. <laughs> そうなんか。これがライブチャット。そうなんです。さあ、ここからが。Oh, just. Oh. This is the last. What's that Hank Hill? Oh, thank you. Does not Hank Hill canonically have a half Japanese brother? Yes. Great. Who sells robot and robot accessories? Great. And if you're worried that this is like spoiling the wonders of Yakuza 6 for you, don't, because this is a fraction of the weird crap you can find I was gonna say, just, just the immediacy yeah. in which we found all this extremely good content. We haven't is... found any ghost porn, we haven't tried to infiltrate the cult. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we haven't found fake Steven Spielberg, like... Senor spielberg son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he's also Mexican in that one, too. <laughs> well, no, if he was in Japan but still Mexican, he would be Senor Spielberg. Right, son. right. But the, the, the Senor part is only because of the Simpsons joke. That's true. Well, the Spielbergo part is also part of the Simpsons. Right. I've decided I don't need a girlfriend anymore. Live chat's way better. Wow. I think we've lost stories about this on Geek, just this whole phenomenon. Because while it seems insane, especially to a Western, Western audience, the Yakuza series is too real. Having a girlfriend would just cut into my chat time. Wow. I can chat forever without regret. That's, 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 real, that's real galaxy brain. I love that it's called live chat. I think we, we, we did a good thing here. Yeah. This is, you know, we've helped someone's life. Question. So you mentioned something about ghost porn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's back that up. <laughs> okay, in Yakuza 0 and possibly some other Yakuza games, you can collect uh, gravor tapes, which is like not soft. It's just, you know, sexy ladies in bikinis. What's it Pretty called? much. Gravor. Okay. Just, you know, like hot but not porn. So like cheesecake? Cheesecake, yeah. Up, maybe? Uh, you collect videotapes Bomb of them. Bombshells? Yes. Okay. You collect videotape I of them in Yakuza 0. Fun. A little digression. Let's I hear this. I find old-timey ways of trying to skirt around things being porn infinitely creepier than just actual porn. Oh, yeah. Like, Anytime you try to avoid, like, the nastiness yeah. of it, it gets way worse. Anyone calling anybody <laughs> a dame or talking about gams? It's just gross. Just talk, just, just say what you mean. But about the ghost porn, yes. uh, when you collect, like, a, enough of the Gravor tapes, you hear a rumor about a tape that might be haunted. And you find one, and it is. Oh, I saw that movie. It was called Ringu. Yeah, that's the joke. <laughs> I don't think there was any porn in that one. That's the better joke. <laughs> Let's chat again, see if it does something different. Because it might, because again... The oh. <laughs> okay, let's maybe not do this. No, this, 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 no, this, this is safe for work. Okay, all right. As long as I don't as long unlock as I, any of the movies. As long as I know that I voice my objection. <laughs> Please, from your face. <laughs> this is Gravor, by the way. Okay. How to play. This is enter math. Yeah. Okay, let's... <laughs> get Yakuza 6 yourself if you're interested in seeing more of that. Yeah. Although, this... I've run out of fights for this week. <laughs> Although, I'm fairly certain that there is no nudity in this game. Not counting, like, you know, naked Yakuza ass in, like, an onsen. Facebook is a family website. Is it? Yeah, Russian royal family. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, so we got maybe like uh, we're creeping up on an hour here. Yeah. Make, any kind of story, anything maybe uh, we should show or we can try to like get to like a uh, go to Little Asia and just see the stuff going on there because okay. it's an infiltration mission. It's actually kind of slow, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's semi stealth. But see, we only have to finish stealth. it, but maybe just to That's start true. it, just to see, just see how it begins. I collected more money on the street, and I'm there are more menacing men. Just going into what? What is a theater? I think. And uh, yes, I've been taking tons of screenshots, so when I go to uh, Shinjuku next week, I'll be comparing these places directly. Nice. So, so that will be a follow-up post on Geek.com? I was going to say, not to tell you to make content on your vacation, but that's yeah. a post idea. I'm not going to be making it, I, like... But even just there, to turn your vacation into content. Yeah. My life is content. It's just, I decide how it's monetized. Yes. Same. <laughs> Put that on my tombstone. They'll never monetize me. <laughs> And then still add space on it. I have the first meta team show. I very recently sent a text to somebody saying my life is too good to turn the content. <laughs> you, you don't deserve that's, the content that is my life. That's good, yeah. Um, it's not about what you're thinking about. It was about playing Batman. Right. I wasn't making it. Okay. <laughs> but I just killed that dude. Like, that is a neck breaker. But it's the Yakuza's fault for attacking me for no reason me just walking on the street. I defeated 200 enemies on the street so far. You know what his outfit reminds me of? Yep. Remember, so in our good our good friend Movie Bob's old series, The Game Overthinker, mm -hmm. he would have these crazy like narrative elements. Yep. And one of the plot lines involved him getting the Fire Flower in real life, and he wore a suit <laughs> very much like this because of the color scheme. Look at that it. wushu kick. Yeah. Yo, I, I like weird, co Dude, weird like color sense. schemes that you you can get some cool bold looks. Yeah. The problem is finding them in you know large western sizes like I ordered this shirt from a like Malaysian wholesaler of weird fashion because I kind of adore the idea of getting just culturally askew and often poorly translated clothing and I have to order like 4x 5x because those are Asian sizes and I'm a big man from America uh, but for a second I thought that said, that said club boner <laughs> Anyway, uh, another fight, oh Jesus. Do you not do the Rosies? Or? Not really. Okay. Like, I can run sometimes, but... I mean, they don't take us much time. Yeah, but it's so stupid. It's like, this is not what Shinjuku is like, where roving gangs of... <laughs> right? It, does, it looks awesome, though. Jesus. I really like these fight scenes. Shinjuku is not like what the president says Mexico is like, and neither is Mexico. Right. Or like what the president says, California or Chicago are like, like. Yeah, yeah. There are a lot of lies happening, but this is a fictional game, so it's better here. So let's go into Little Asia. Let's do it. Trying to meet Aka Akiyama. Uh, he's in disguise. Uh, or he's kind of a homeless dude who used to run a loan company, so he has ups and downs in his life too. So what about this Majima character I keep hearing so much about? He is, uh, he is a madman who lives in Osaka. So he shows up and kind of harasses Kiryu and has amazing fashion sense, but I haven't run into him in this game yet. Okay. Which is kind of a shame. So I'm trying to find Ed, who is the, like, he's a captain in the Sayo Triad, who are trying to, like, muscle in on the territory, because he might have some answers on what happened to Haruka. I also kind of want to get dumplings, too, and I haven't seen that. Those look good. Uh, Why don't I get some white soda while I'm here? Happy. Go to that uh, dumpling place at Union Square, it's real good. Yeah. Vanessa's. Yeah, it's really good. Yep. It's just small. Uh, there's, there's one, one, one China yep. yeah. Grand Grand Street. Street. I heard that one's really crowded. Uh, it is, but it's also quite good. It's almost like half the price, too, because just wow. Because it's like trying to price compared to near wow. units. And also, like, because these prices aren't bad. Yep. Oh. See, this is what happens when you get into the main story of Yakuza. You start talking about dumplings instead of looking at weird crap. <laughs> Yeah, and then for the sake of being, you know, comprehensive. Yeah, because he's like he's like a loan shark, so we're trying to uh, infiltrate through a third-story window. That's a good disguise. As are these camera moves. Yeah, that's Nagumo. He's my bro from, Ho from Hiroshima. Because the possible father of Haruka's possible baby is like their friend, and we're trying to discover, uh, you know, the mysteries. Also, here's a mask. Because even though you're like wearing the distinction, you're the freaking dragon of Dojima suit, and you're also like 
a Japanese dude built like a tank beating the crap out of Yakuza. Right, just on the street, in broad daylight. A mask will totally, like, hide your identity. And here's one of the few stealth-ish missions. It's like Payday 2. Yeah. And when we get to the rope, to the roof, we lower a rope ladder. Or, um... It's... It just teleport inside. Cool. These, that that type is great too. It's, it's so many good spots in this game. Yeah. Oh, Troubler, what's happening? I can't do anything. I'm on a mission. Okay. Also, what is, what is Troubler? Is that your crime causing? Yes. Your crime app. It is my crime solving app because people are in trouble. Okay. And even though I am a yakuza or ex yakuza, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing in this game. I can still try to help people out of the goodness of my heart. Because Kiryu Kazama is a noble soul. Yeah. It's my favorite thing about Payday 2 is that to, to just cause missions you just, in the universe you just go to crime.net and see what's up. Just log on to crime.net. Wasn't that from like the, the Carmen San Diego like game show on PBS? That sounds right. Crime.net. I don't remember soon. Rockapella. Uh, they're rebooting that with uh, what's her face from Jane the Virgin, uh, Gina Rodriguez. Huh. I suppose that works. Yeah, some people like her. Some people. But think. there's more sneaking and slow walking. Question. Because the main series. Yep. Yeah. Oh, finish the thought. In Carmen San Diego, oh, it's Acme Crime Net. Okay. Acme. So, yeah. So that is actually more branding than Payday. <laughs> Going back to Looney Tunes. So we need to sneak by a chef. Mm. Because he's a triad chef. <laughs> Blink! Yes! Yeah, he's gonna sneak. He's Cal. That's great. That intro. And I'm just standing there like a jackass because I don't think I can actually duck in this game. What? How they gonna give you a stealth mission when you can't crouch? <laughs> look, look, look at him going, huh? You can't crouch? No. Okay. So you said to just say I was line of sight, I guess? Yeah, go this way. That's really bootleg. I love that gesture. It's like, oh, stop. Okay, I got past Cal. The first time I tried it, he like spotted me and it became like a freaking three stage boss fight. Oh, I kind of wanted to see that. It's uh, actually kind of a pain and bladed weapons are stronger than any gun in the combat. Well, in this what, game. If, what if you die? Would that be entertaining? Uh, it might be. Okay, because also we're, kind of, we're coming up on an hour here. Yeah. Well, let's see. Okay, we want to get as much content out of you as you can Let's before you leave. That, so. Don't let them find you. Wait, there they are. Okay. <laughs> Good stealth mission, bro. Nice. You know, I'll just let him slash me, because I'm already almost dead. No, I have a sword. You didn't think that through. My sword broke. I'm too strong. Throw a hunk of meat at him. If only that was a weapon. Why is that not a weapon? Come on. Some of you guys hit me. Yeah. A little bit more. Oh, they're ruining, you're getting blood all over your nice yep. white suit. I like this purple death screen, that's different. Ragdoll. Nice. That's it. Do you want to continue? Uh, I think, I think that's a lot. We're probably I mean, good. you feel like we've seen a lot? Yep. Okay. We've seen a, there is content in this game. Cool, so that's Yaxa 6, it's on PS4, it's out yep. now? I don't know if it's out yet, actually. I, well, let's look at this, Yaxa 6 gets a release date. Oh, yeah. Those are collector's edition, which I kind of wish I got. Uh, Oh, yeah, it is out. Okay. March 20th. Cool. So it did come out. So it's just PS4. Yep. Um, and if you can find the collector's edition, it comes with uh, whiskey rocks and whiskey glasses. Cool. So that's Yakuza 6. Will, we're going to miss you. Want that. We're going to miss you. You know, you're a your value contributor. Thank you're, just you. leave, you're not leaving. You're just leaving for this. Yep. For these next few days. Um, but we'll be back with somebody else and something else. So probably much less Japanese. Yeah.